why do you want to explore this new tech healing technology? You know, the, we live in a world where if you look at the health statistics, it's not good. Our, our you know, children today have so many chronic illnesses, degenerative illnesses, the childhood cancer and asthma and, and ADD and just everything is going off the chart. And same as we age, you know, our body doesn't heal as fast as when we're younger. So, you know, we're always healing, but we're always under a certain amount of stress. And so it's a matter of balance. If we can heal faster than the stress is breaking us down, then we're getting, we're aging like a fine wine. We get better with age. We're supposed to be, become the elders who can help the younger generation through our wisdom, through our experience. And, and by being healthy, we can do that. You know, the biggest risk to our, our life, uh, to, to our quality of life, to our, the economy of our life these days <clears throat> is to lose our health. Most people, when, when we get to be elderly, most elderly people lose their, their, their finances, their, their fortune, because they lose their health. So health is your wealth. It's, it's not only because by being healthy you don't lose money, but from being sick and, and you know, the average cancer uh, case is, is, can be a million dollars to treat. And it's not all covered by insurance, so just, just the out-of-pocket expenses wipes people out. And, and of course, we don't want to have cancer and we don't want to go through radiation, chemotherapy or surgery. And, and latest research is, is affirming what we've known in natural medicine for all along and what you probably know just from the people around you. When people go through the conventional treatments for cancer, all of which are known carcinogens, even when the result is perfect, oh, we, we got rid of it all, it's all gone. What happens? A few months later, it's back and it, and it spreads faster and they're dead. So we know now there's studies, for example, on breast cancer that came out fairly recently that show, you know, the problem is these carcinogenic cancer treatments kill the least carcinogenic cancer cells and, and, and enhance, uh, the, they, they concentrate and enhance the, the most virulent cancer cells. So the cancer, uh, cells that are actually going to grow a tumor and grow it faster, there's more of those, they're more concentrated and it grows back faster and worse, more metastases. So, so we're not talking about treating cancer here, we're talking about treating health. Instead of treating disease, the whole treating disease model is like treating the symptom. Diseases are just a name for some dysfunction, some stress that the body has that is doing the best it can to, to maintain our health and our function. If instead of treating the distress by trying to kill it, when that's actually a function of the body, doing the best it can, we focus, aim our guns at health and function, and instead of guns of damage and, and distress and, and, and destruction, we use guns of help and love and nutrition and nourishing and detoxification and support then we enhance the functional aspect of the body and that's what heals. That's what can heal disease. You can heal disease.